Jonathan Taylor was injured yesterday. He sat out for majority of the ending of the game. And right now, from what we're hearing, it looks like a high ankle sprain and it looks like a mi very mild turf toe. Turf toe is um, is painful, very painful. Sometimes it could take it two weeks, but if it was a grade two, he wouldn't play at all this week. He wouldn't be doing anything. And then on top of that, he has the high ankle sprain. It's not good. It's not looking good. You know, if you have him in fantasy, sell him immediately, trade him, get some sort of value because when a running back, when a player has a high ankle sprain, it often affects them for the rest of the season. High ankle sprains, you know, it could be swelling because, you know, they're tearing the ligaments. Sometimes it'll press on a nerve and it makes it very difficult for a lot of guys to walk and stuff for a week. So forget about him playing. He's not going to play on Thursday. If this team has the nerve to play him on Thursday and have him active, I'm going to be pretty pissed off. This is when you bring up a guy like Phil Lindsay. You have Deion Jackson. You have Naheem Hines. I think Phil Lindsay can do, can get the job done. He, you know, he's no Jonathan Taylor. And Jonathan Taylor probably isn't going to be the same for the rest of the season. A high ankle sprain often makes it very difficult for a player to return to normal, to return to fully healthy and just able to do everything with, with the flexibility. He's going to lose fle the flexibility. He's going to be in pain. And, you know, for a high ankle sprain, there's nothing you can really do. You can't have injections and all painkillers. It's just a really bad injury. And it's looking like we're not going to have the same JT for the rest of the season. It could be on and off. He, I don't care if he has a streak of, you know, he never missed a high school or college game. But do not let him play. He, You cannot play a player with a high ankle sprain uh, and a turf toe the same weekend. It's a short week on top of that. Let Philip Lindsay play against his former team. Let's see something happen there. Not Don't force a superstar player. We're re we already have too many issues. There's not really any point because this team isn't going anywhere. And I hate to be so negative, but when the leader of your team has no emotion, stands there, that's what you expect. You don't expect much. The team performs and they come out and they play just like the head coach acts. Just like the head coach looks. Motionless. Emotionless. Doesn't say anything. Doesn't show any emotion. Doesn't show any any aggravation. Any happy. Any angry emotions. He just stands there. You saw Mike Variable yesterday. How he was like jumping around, getting aggravated at the refs, yelling, screaming. Frank Reich does none of that. Mike Vrabel holds his players accountable too. I would kill to have a head coach by like Mike Vrabel right now. Mike Vrabel is a very good head coach. He is miles and miles and miles ahead of Frank Reich. So, with the Jonathan Taylor injury, main thing we're supposed to be talking about here, we got off topic a little bit, but high ankle sprain and a mild turf toe. Do not expect him to play this week. I don't expect him to play next week. A high ankle sprain, very painful. I don't expect him to play for three or four weeks. That's, that's my prediction. Because... It's painful, takes a while to heal, and even when he comes back, don't expect him to be the same. Not like he could anyways because of the offensive line, so tough to see this injury. Give me your thoughts. Do you think he will play on Thursday knowing a guy like Jonathan Taylor is going to try to? It's a very bad idea. He, I hope he doesn't because he could re-injure it, injure it worse, maybe make that turf to, tur turf to a grade two, and then there's going to be more issues. And he's probably should be out for the rest of the season. He could be out for the rest of the season if it plays with an injury like this. So, you guys let me know what you think. It sucks. But this Colts team hasn't looked good to begin with. Hasn't looked good anyways. So, it's not like it really puts a damper on things. It sucks to see a player hurt. I'm not saying, oh, you know, I'm happy he's hurt. You know, we're not going to waste him. No, I'm just saying that um, not like this team is set to make a big playoff run or anything so just let him rest don't force it wish him the best wish him the best recovery this is all i got for you today
Thank you for tuning in to the JW Sports Talk Show, where your fans welcome. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, put the post on occasion by line as well as any future videos. This is JW signing off.